Hello and welcome back to Time in the UK. First off, thanks very much to the Wicked Watch Company for lending me this particular watch. It's called a Pearl Diver. Uh, this is the bronze review model that's powered by Seiko, Seiko NH35. It's got lashings and lashings of loom and a very unique look to it. The bezel is quite a firm... I wouldn't say difficult to turn, plenty of grip on the outside rim. And it's just a very satisfying feeling to the way it turns, so not bad at all. There's no movement up or down or wobble or bounce. Slight bit of back play, but not much to not much at all. The crown's screw screw down. And the case is phosphor, phosphor bronze. We've got Solid case back. We have presumably some kind of logo on it. Oh, my fingers. Yeah, we've got like a a seahorse or something. Is that a seahorse? A map, maybe. Hard to tell, but there's a detailed engraving on the back of something that looks a bit like a seahorse or a dragon or some such. So I'll zoom in on that. It's a dragon, a phoenix maybe. And on the back it says, Wiki, Wiki Watch Company. Case is bronze. CN08 bronze. NS35, NH35 from Japan, automatic movement and a serial number. There you go. The watch comes on a supplied NATO bearing the name Wicked on the, one of the retainers and a logo on the keeper. But this is a review piece. It's been through several hands. It's been worn by, to my knowledge, for at least a month by several people. It's starting to develop a little bit of discoloration to the bronze case, which is nice. It's starting to get a bit, little bit of character to it. Uh, the, the case shape is a kind of pie pan shape and all in all it's a very pleasant watch to wear got a date complication there and the time is incorrectly set and it's just about to change so let me just adjust that and let's see what time the date snaps over there you go three minutes to the date snaps over set the correct time okay so that's the correct time set the second hand has got quite an interesting arrow counterbalanced on there something I've only just noticed and the hands are quite a pleasant um, so if we can get the camera to focus, there we go. And the hands are quite a pleasant design. You can see the, the effect on the dial, sort of a rough texture. And that does reflect the light in strange ways. It's kind of like a metallic fleck in there as well, or under, some, or under some lights. Okay, so the watch came supplied to me with a couple of things. Uh, instead of a watch box, they supplied a watch roll. And inside the watch roll we've got a leather strap with a Wicked logo, room for three watches, a warranty card, a certificate of authenticity there. magnetic buckle, buckle or maybe that just tucks in but the watch also came with something else the watch came with this fascinating little tool and I know it's stainless steel and not bronze but all the same it's still pretty cool so we've got that 
little screwdriver tip there. If you were to replace that and open the other side, you've got a little spring bar tool. So that's handy, isn't it? But that said, the watch does come with drilled lugs, so it's probably easier just to poke something in there to change the strap. Right, so I've got a little covering letter here that explains a little bit about the watch. So I'm going to read you a few highlights. Um, basically, the, the Wicked Watch Company guarantee the use of Swiss Super Luminova on all loom parts. They guarantee that the movement of the watch is from Seiko directly purchased and made in Japan. They guarantee that the index on the dials is, is a made Sorry, the index on the dials is made with a loom cast, a special way of loom application. Those parts are casted out of pure loom powder, which makes them more precise, longer lasting and brighter. The, ind the indices are applied by Les Crandes de Geneva, a famous dial maker in, from Switzerland. As far as we know, we are the first micro band that uses a loom class cast, which directly, uh, which is mainly used by the brig big brands like IWC, Mosa, C8, etc, etc. And we've got a few updates. We've got a few updates that they're planning from the per, from the prototype model. The case back will be different from now on and we'll have the same motif but a different execution. The lever strap will be the same lever as on the watch roll and will taper down from 22 to 18 rather than square. The watch roll will be a brown vintage style lever which we've already received. The watch roll is going to be a bit bigger. The carbon dials will have a white logo on the text to make them more visible. The case quality will be more time improved. Not too sure what that means. And the hands will be made by another supplier. Starting price on kick and Kickstarter will be 199 Swiss francs for the NH35 and 299 for the STP1 version. The STP1, that would be a Salita powered version, I would have thought. The, the, the mission statement as well says that they want to reduce the garbage and dust collections of big chunky watch boxes, so they've supplied it in um, a watch roll, which personally I'm massively in favour of um, watch boxes and what, you know, we should be getting more watches in little pouches um, that are easy to store and more useful to use for travelling. Uh, just to say that everything is produced in Switzerland, everything is produced in-house, nothing is made in China, and the ethos is the company that they want to drive home quality, not money. Uh, they want to present their passion for the project, and they want a great package at a fair price tag. And I think, to be honest, with this particular piece, they've achieved that. You cannot at all fault the quality on this piece and the attention to detail is second to none I mean how they can say that they're going to put more effort into the watches I'm just noticing now that the, the spring bars aren't spring bars they're little screws so maybe there's some kind of screw affair that goes from left to right on this but looking up close, close at the case I mean it's a, the finishing's lovely and I've never been much of a fan of bronze watches per se, but I think this one's different enough to make it a real contender to anyone's watch box. And the natural light is really showing up the beauty of the dial. Please excuse the reflections. Can you suggest any upgrades to it? Any things that you would like to see done differently? Personally, I think it's great as it is. A few minor tweaks here and there. But I'd love to see. The only regret really I have is that I can't keep this for a year because I'd love to see how it, it discolors and ages. I think really uh, we need to review a year in of, of use and just to see how the thing is worn and to see the how the newness has been knocked off it. A few scruffs, scuffs, scratches and a bit of discoloration on the piece. I think it would really, really stand out. So, Wiki Watch Company. I've got no moans and niggles particularly for this watch. And thank you very much for supplying it. Let me just adjust 
that bezel just in case the ADHD out there can't cope with the fact it's not perfectly aligned because it does perfectly align it's a real nice there we go is that better close up there fantastic get your name down on Kickstarter for a wicked watch by the wicked watch company with fantastic attention to detail better attention to detail than I can ever manage I mean look at that the little metal thing on the end of your lever to tangle it all up has even got a logo on it fantastic great quality watch roll this as well super pleased so this will be winging its way to another reviewer so I hope the next reviewer enjoys the watch as much as I have. Thank you very much. I've been time in the UK. And again, should please like, comment and, sus and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any watches that you would like to have reviewed, feel free to get in touch.